Bubble gems. Good evening, traveler. It's a fine night. Yes, very fine. Mm, what is that I sense? Could it be that you have gobs of bubble gems in your possession? I need four of them. Please feed them to my mouth. My mouth craves them. My throat has almost healed from the last ones you gave me. And that will not do. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I'm no longer sorry. You should be sorry for not having more. Ah, what is, uh, what is, okay, what, what is that? Horrible, and, oh, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. It's so realistic, it can fool an actual horrible. Sweet, that's neat. Okay, let's, let's move on to the guy who's been stranded. A snowball should do it. A chew. Oh, pardon. The, the cold snap might be over, but it's still so chilly around here. Have you tried rolling a snowball into a monster? Fighting monsters isn't usually what puts a smile on my face, but if you go with the snow, you can really have a ball. All right, that's... Your your pun does not merit me talking to you more. <laughs> you, you can be proud of it, but the conversation isn't going to continue. I'm more of a portmanteau man myself these days. Amazing. What the? You don't even have wings. How do you fight monsters so high up? I used a bow. You know, a ranged weapon, you dolt. Uh, who cares? What matters is you did it. Great work. Now I can get these supplies back to Snowfield, back uh, from Snowfield Stable, back to my village. Please, let me give you something for your efforts. It's less than you deserve, but it's also all I have. Eh, sure. Whatever. Now I better deliver these supplies before more monsters show up. Take care. Somehow I'll lift them all and fly away with them. I did it. Okay. Now, before I see something amazing, so amazing that I'm going to not go back to the depths. Let's go back to the depths. Light root. Light root. Found one. Tulin's going to make this so much more palatable. Uh, that said, I should probably... Boop. Thankfully, the Bakoblin camps, or the, I guess, the Oblin camps, uh, are pretty well telegraphed. I, I know what... They, they have torches, right? But the last thing I want to do is fall right into a Frox when I don't know where his blight is. Uh, yeah, that's just, a, that's just another camp. Where on earth... Man, this area is deep. Like, I, I have to... I have to use my Zonite bow to actually get a decent shot here. Like, what is what's that over there? Is that a construct? I'm not sure. The twinkling is really hard to tell. It's so deep. And that's like a that's a big that's yeah that's like a a big fortress, which I don't really necessarily want to bother with. Um. If I need resources, I can get them anywhere. But right now, what's most important is exploration. There we go. That's a nice, uh, a much better chunk of light. And I'm starting to recognize the hallmarks of, of the depths as well. Like this dot, which is one of the, the uh, build platforms. This actually looks like it's a bunch of hands. And while there's a chance I might stumble across, you know, an actual nice hidden treasure chest, I'm not, I'm not banking on it. I'm not, that isn't what I'm trying to do. We're mapping this area so that if we find something in the sky, we can come back here and it's easy. Okay, so there's souls everywhere. Um, I don't really need the souls right now. I, I'm good. Uh, again. What? Oh. Hold the phone. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna fly down here. Oh, this is a good idea. And then I will recall this. 
Oh, this might not be a good idea, actually. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Uh, it's down there. I was hoping it would actually show up with me, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Uh, where's the guy? Where's the guy maintaining the rune? Because it's not that. Are there multiple? I really don't want to just... I guess I can do this. You know, I don't need a... Another guy? Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? I'm actually solidly confused, but while I'm confused, I can read this. Base Construction Manual Volume 2. Relay bases must be built to facilitate safe and effective navigation of the depths. All bases should follow the operation guidelines below to ensure the quick and flexible deployment of personnel. 1. Secure all treasure and valuables, such as crystallized charges, in the storehouse. 2. Select one person to ensure that the storehouse is thoroughly sealed and protected at all times. If the storehouse is threatened, other personnel was, must immediately report to engage in hostilities. See volume 1 for information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to mankind and Master Koga. Okay, that's cool and all, but where is... Where is other guy? Still slow, but I can speed up a little bit. Uh, oh, there he is. That's a... Oh, he has a turret. up I have a question about that that vehicle can I control that like what does that do what does that what does that actually do freeze done stasis wait what is I can steer the turret oh is the turret automatic it has to be, because I'm... I'm trying. I'm trying to use this thing, and it's not working, so it has to be automatic in some way, shape, or form. That's very odd. Okay. Chest one. Large crystalline charges, exactly how they said. Chest two should be, like, a schematic, I'd assume? Yep. Schematic for what? A whirling basher? Uh, oh, I see. It's just, it's really just rocks and wheels, but that's a good example of something. Uh, I could probably make a pretty broken version of that. I'm going to keep that in mind. That actually seems really good. Okay. Onward to what I was doing. What am I? Is that? Whoa, 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 that's the boss that we fought. Uh, I don't want to fight him in the dark. Uh, and actually, mm, it might be too late. Uh, let's see. Recall. Auto build. Uh, this is going to be sketchy. No, oh, that didn't work. Okay. That is the boss. Oh, and I'm going to fly right into him. How do we fight that guy without the the height advantage? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do it. Uh, and but let's be a little bit smart and have a little bit of light. No, no, no. We're gonna be more. We're gonna be smarter than that. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. I'm. I'm gonna make another plane. I'm gonna fly to the other light route. We gotta do it that way, or else I will probably die. Granted, it was not a difficult boss, but the circumstances under which I'm fighting him this time are substantially worse. So we are going to... We're gonna be smart. As cool as it is to end an episode off on me being, you know, um, brave and very stupid, I'm... I've died too much. I've simply died too much. I'm tired of dying. And so I'm gonna do the right thing. Uh, that's not what I want. Boom, boom, boom. Unfortunately, though, it does mean I'm going to have to kind of fly through his territory. Go. Hopefully I can get enough height above him so he doesn't aggro, but I'm not super confident in that. 
we might end up getting pursued here. That's so cool, though. Also, because this guy doesn't look icy. Oh, boy. Hi. Hi, my guy. This isn't good. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in a lot of danger. Can I get past him? Signs are pointing to yes. Yes, I can, because he's very slow and easy. All right. We're good. We're fine. I escaped. In fact, I could probably take this plane and fly back to fight him. Let's get a nice, soft landing here. Okay, this plane's done anyway. That's fine. Be careful. I don't know what weird range attacks he might have. For all I know, he has lasers. Let time. We're, go, we're about to find out. Whoa. Is that where we're at right now? Or is that something different? Let's pull out the map again and find out. Okay, that's that's where we're going. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really illuminate it. That's that's kind of a problem. There are no light routes next to this thing. So, like, while I have a little bit of ambient light, it doesn't actually look like there's that much. There's any light around it. So we, uh, we're probably fine. We're probably fine. Okay, I do want to fire a shot across the bow. I forget. Do I get two dings? I solidly forget. I get one more ding, right? Uh, maybe I don't. Okay. Um, is there any... I don't like this. I don't like the, the thought of being anchored to the ground. Like, that's actually kind of terrifying to me. They allow me to make a plane, so I think I might do that. There we go. Okay. Again, I don't know how I'm fighting this guy. We're gonna go below. Hi, buddy. He has the crystals. That's good. Let's drop this. Pull out something good here, like a, an eyeball, perhaps. Mm, go. Oh, he has an updraft. Okay, that's not too bad. I can work with that. Whoa! Whoa, what just happened? What just happened? Okay, I should probably first off equip some good gear. Okay. We get an updraft. Good to know. Where is he coming out? From below. And I picked the correct side. Oh, I don't have a bow. Is that what happened? Did my bro just break? Okay. Let's, I don't think I need bombs. That was the first thing I, I thought of in the moment. Don't think I need them. I also probably don't actually need my best stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Yeah, he's gonna go back down. I correctly dodged that. Uh, he has one more, one more thing. One more, let's not get hit by him. No, let's not get nicked by him. Uh, I'm gonna use eyeballs for this one because I didn't shoot quite correctly. Shoot underneath, let him curve up. Is he dead? Is that it? I, I didn't pay attention to the health bar. Or is this, this is phase two, yeah. That's what I thought, okay. All right, let's do it. Do this fight properly again. Not taking any damage. side. Okay. You know, I actually don't think I really necessarily need the attack up. I think the maneuverability is going to be better for me. Hi! Yes, you are very angry at me. But I have a message for you. Boom. 
Oh, you missed. I missed. Fly above the tornadoes. I have yet to be hit by those. I don't want to start now. Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. I don't know why I'm fighting this fight just a little bit more difficult than it was originally. Get out of the way. Ugh. He's getting a lot more opportunities than he got in the, the first fight. Okay. Oh, he, I could have... I could have handled that from the top. Uh, let's... Zonite bow this and just get a really solid hit. Of, yeah, Liz Alpha's horn. Charge it, charge it, charge it. Now. Perfect. Watch out for the spikes! There we go. Do one more. Okay, that's that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Watch out for the ground. I'm not that close. Good. Oh! That's the first time I've touched this guy. And he didn't damage me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to be reactive here. Whoa! I, got, I chose the wrong side. Oh. Don't. There he is. Um. There's one. I'm a little bit too far away from him to not use this because he is a moving target. Yeah, we don't need to bother. We don't need to bother with multi shot bows. Said. I need to get a little bit closer, get a little bit of battery back, and this should be good, and he's done. I had paused time a little bit prematurely there. I was worried that he was gonna speed up and I would miss, but that's I'm gonna call that my one mistake of a fight that went on for a lot longer than it did in the Stormwind arc. I don't know if he was more necessarily more difficult or if I just gave him more opportunities than I did before. Okay, what do we... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Hello. Also, I hope you can't hear the super loud engine uh, in the background. Um, do I have a thing? That's old. That's powerful. That's fine. I could replace that. Yeah, I'll replace that. Yeah. Colgara Jaw is actually weaker than what I had. <laughs> Son of a gun. Uh, oh well. <laughs> oh well, it looks cool, kind of. Yeah, it looks it looks neat. Alright, what's our actual reward? I forget what the, the Gibdo Queen gave us. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... I'm fine with that. Ultimately, more battery is never a bad thing. Alright. That was a fight and a half. That was, that was kind of cool. Uh, continuing westward, I'm actually going to warp because I'm in such a big pit.